Well, joining me now is Adam Knapp, who actually um, created this documentary about uh, out here in Kansas, and it is about a, a particular person. It is. It's about a, uh, a man named Bert Humberg, who I had covered as a football player, and the story kind of came together when he came out of the closet, and I discovered that his former pastor was my former pastor, and... Um, You've seen the documentary now. You know mm -hmm. that I'm that I'm actually kind of right in the middle of the story myself, having mm -hmm. known both men, and um, so it's kind of about how the three of our lives have intertwined. Right. Well, and and um, for instance, uh, Pastor Joe had a has a real problem reconciling uh, homosexuality with uh, Christianity. He feels like they're mutually exclusive. Right. And. I, I feel like he wants to reconcile it, but he can't. You know, it was Pastor Joe that um, actually encouraged me to reach out to Matthew Vines, who is author of God and the Gay Christian. Uh, believe it or not, Matthew Matthew's from Wichita, actually. Okay. Um, he's got a movement called the Reformation Project. And, um, you know, the fact that Pastor Joe encouraged me you know, hey, you need to you need to track down Matthew Vines for this. That 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 says volumes to mm -hmm. me. We we showed the documentary to Pastor Joe before we showed it to anyone else. Yeah. Um, and he he thought it was fair, and mm -hmm. um, that was good enough for us. So. Yeah. Well, like I said, he if he, you feel like he wants to reconcile the two, but he just can't seem to. And what you and I were talking about before the show is. You know, he he feels like he draws all of his um, opinions or all of his his viewpoints, yeah, outlooks, yeah, from the, from the Bible. Bible, yeah. And I really kind of feel like you can take the Bible and interpret it just about any way you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there is a lot of uh, bizarre stuff in the Bible. Sure. That is for sure. Um, I think, I don't want to put words into Pastor Joe's mouth, but I think in his eyes, uh, being gay is a sin, mm -hmm. but we're all sinners. So um, I know Pastor Joe, in the eyes of many, is kind of the face of the anti-gay movement right. in Kansas. And, and in some ways he is, but um, I think once you watch the documentary, um, you you can't deny that at the very least his heart's in the right place. Mm -hmm. I believe he loves gay people. Um, I know the gay community's had a hard time swallowing that when I've you know done different Q and A's and things mm -hmm. like that. But, sure, um, but that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, for instance, um, he you can tell that there's a certain amount of compassion or empathy on his part for the day, the gay community as opposed to for instance the Phelps church right. Westboro church uh that's an entirely different take on it so um the fact that he like i said he he has trouble reconciling it but but you kind of feel like he would like to be able to and so that to me speaks volumes about his being um you know, he he's more likely to look at the person as an individual rather than as an individual who's gay. There's a very moving part towards the end of the documentary, which is only 30 minutes long, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you remember, but Pastor Joe says, God, you know, if I'm wrong, and certainly if I'm not speaking the truth in love, then convict me of that. Because you know, I believe Jesus wanted us to speak in love, and that really that really gets me every time mm -hmm. I watch it. Um, because I I don't think Pastor Joe uh, pretends to know everything, right? But his convictions are very strong in what he mm -hmm. believes about homosexuality and homosexuality and the, mm -hmm. and the Word of God, right? So. Well, um, I you know, there's so many gay people in the world. And male and female both. I mean, um, and there's a lot of people who are um, both. I mean, bisexual. Right. So these people, all of them have uh, talents, they have gifts, they have beliefs of their own, and they have power. 
a lot of there's a lot of people in the the lesbian and gay community who are actors or actresses or musicians or uh, and they have a platform right and they use that platform to help promote acceptance and let's face it 99 to 100 percent of the time your sexuality just really has nothing to do with what you're trying to do professionally and mm -hmm. you know it, it it's just it's very much an issue here in kansas mm -hmm. um but you go into other parts of the country not so much it's very well done has a lot of really valuable information in it i, I really recommend you go see it